Hey, this is Mike. We're really excited to show you uh, the second Scat Pack 2015 Dodge Challenger Scat Pack that we've had on our lot. Um, the original one was gray. Uh, this one is a blue color and it looks awesome with the matte black 20 inch wheels and uh, <laughs> just a sweet car. Now, if you don't know much about the Scat Pack, it is a very good performance car, high performance car, and um, for the money. It's a, it's a really good value. You want to check into it before you buy an SRT, before you buy, you know, a Hellcat and stuff like that. Check into the Scat Pack and, and just kind of price them because uh, you, you got a lot of horsepower and a lot of features for the money. But uh, just talked to a guy uh, last week that bought one. He's had it for about six months or so and he loves it i mean he just uh, absolutely loves it he can't he says it's there's absolutely no weak spot on it at all as far as the performance and the handling and everything he just absolutely likes it and he actually takes it to a, a, a strip and, and races it and stuff too so but anyways um let's take a look at it now this is the first time i've seen these matte black wheels here and uh they have pretty interesting design and you can see that these the four piston brembo brakes are black they're not the uh, they're not colored red or anything like that so they kind of blend in to the black wheels some people may like that or maybe not you see it has a slotted uh, you can see it's got slotted discs in there it's got the little B fly in there with a 6.4 badge scat pack badge and I'm trying out a you know a camera I've only used it one time before I'm trying also out a for the first time a camera stabilizer so let me know what you think it's a uh, one I've just kind of custom made myself and it's kind of similar to the one I had before but this one's a little bit I think it's gonna be a little bit better so just let me know about the the shakiness or the lack of in the video so here's the front which is a huge improvement to me on the uh, 2015s with the way these cars look especially at night with the halo matter of fact uh, let me camera might be a little shaky now because I'm only holding it with one hand but here's the key I'm gonna go ahead and start it up Yeah, you see those halos there in the front? I mean, they are just really awesome. Coming down the road, I mean, it's just breathtaking to me. And the sound of this vehicle is, it sounds better than, than the Hellcat to me because it's, it has a good rumble, but without the, you know, the skull cracking the loud pipes. Check out the tail lights too. Really good job of kind of imitating the old, I think it's a 71 or 72 Challenger. So the sound is awesome. So this one's got the, the it's little parking sensors here backup parking sensors it also has a backup camera here and uh, I can open up this is a proximity key I'm gonna open this up with a button I can also open it by using the key but we've got a pretty good amount of space back here and this one has the, um, the battery back here and also it doesn't have a spare tire but it does have an air pump there with some sealant. Now if you were to get the sound group three, uh, this space will be filled in with the um, with subwoofers. So this has only got the sound, sound group two, which has a subwoofer under here, right under there with the rest of the, rest of the speakers, which I found out kind of the hard way because I didn't really know where it was on the, on the previous car. There's the fuel door. 
Now this one has a special uh, suspension too, the, the Bilstein suspension like uh, struts or whatever you call them, uh, shocks. And uh, so, I mean, it has a really good handle to it, big tires, big wheels. Now this one has the, the proximity key and I can lock it and I can also relock it. Un unlock it here and then relock it there. So that's the, has like a senses your hand and also the key and opens up. Here's the inside of the door. You got like a little storage pocket there, bottle holder there. There's your door handle. This one has the Alpine sound system, which is the sound group too. There's your door lock controls and side mirrors. It does have heated side mirrors and also, see that little triangle there? That is the um, blind spot detector. Power seat here in the front. Kind of half power seat. You still have to use this to uh, adjust your back of the seat. It's got the RT embroidered in this suede here in the center and then it's got the leather on the outside and it is the suede is actually perforated I don't know if you can see that now this seat goes forward I'm gonna show you not a whole lot of room there in the back I don't know if you can see it's a little dark it's cold outside too but there's the back seat it's kind of you know you can put somebody back there but it's not as not as comfortable as the front the front's got plenty of room automatic headlights you got your dimmer switches there there's your another uh, trunk release there. Now I'm going to hop in. It is cold. It says it's 51 degrees there, but it feels colder than that. Maybe the wind or something. I'm not sure. But here's the steering wheel. It's a leather wrap steering wheel. And um, so it has, I mean, the same bu buttons you would see on the other vehicles. It's got the cruise control. It has... You know, you can change that menu system there, which I'll show you. Voice recognition, Bluetooth phone, answer and make, you know, receive and send calls there. And uh, it does have the paddle shifters, which is pretty cool. You can shift through the gears. Now, the guy that bought the other one said he really enjoys the paddle shifters, and that's what he uses almost when he really wants to get sporty. That's what he uses all the time. All right, so let me adjust these things here okay it's not quite dark enough to show you the backlit buttons here which I'll show you in a, at a night video or whatever but um there's the gauges now let me just kind of cycle through first up before I need to go any further I need to push this button and that'll kind of turn everything on but um but right now it's showing the speedometer there in the middle and uh, I'm gonna use these buttons here to kind of adjust that and um, so let's see here. I'm going to scroll down. And this is the vehicle info screen. I'm going to scroll through just so you can see the different information that you can get. It's a lot of stuff, so I'm going to go fast. Engine power gives you the real time power. That's pretty cool. Wish I could drive this car, but it's not mine. And it's, you know, uh, not allowed to drive cars that are not mine. So I do have the. Um, you know, I am allowed to do the video, and, and uh, but as far as driving the cars around, I wish I could do that, but I cannot. Scroll down. Performance. This is some cool stuff here. Uh, reaction time, like 0 to 60 miles per hour timer. And then you got a 0 to 100 miles per hour timer. Uh, one eighth of a mile timer. Quarter mile braking distance. Uh, G forces when you're going around curves or whatever, or taking off or stopping peak g-forces it shows you what the vehicles have has already uh, lap timer lap history and uh, top speed so far only 56 miles per hour so um, you know that's that's kind of the reason why they don't want anybody driving it because they want the customer to experience the vehicle first because it's theirs so they paid for it so let me scroll down fuel economy this will give you an average in a real time uh, Trimp info will give you the miles and the miles per gallon and the time. This is just telling you what the radio is doing. Any stored messages will be there. And you can set up the screen there if you want to set up different things on the corners there. And then back to the speedometer. So that's the first screen. I mean, it's got two screens here. Uh, this is the other one. This is the like the radio and stuff. Now, um, icons are... 
hopefully you can see it's a little bit dark. Let me see if I can. Um, I know I'm showing you a screen, but just kind of want to when I point at stuff, I want you to be able to see. Uh, this is the radio. These are your icons across the bottom. Radio, satellite radio, media. This is where you will um, like you have an auxiliary USB SD card and also the uh, Bluetooth. You can play music through those sources. Controls, heated seat, ventilated seats, heated steering wheel. I'm going to turn that on right now. Um, climate control. This is uh, where you can adjust your climate. Uh, you know, your. Let me go ahead and turn it on, so you can see what it looks like. I don't want all that fan blowing, but to give you an idea, you can sync it, or you can, you know, have independent. It's just like the other Dodge vehicles and Ram trucks. It's the UConnect system, 8.4 phone. Uh, once you pair it, it'll have your phone book, recent calls. You can make calls there. You can transfer it back to your cell phone if you want. Uh, and then you got Uconnect apps. Uh, some of them you have to register to use. And uh, so there's pretty cool stuff there. Now, pushing this button down here, the Super Track Pack, will kind of pop up one of the Uconnect um, apps, and that is the, uh, the performance pages. And it has a launch control. I'm not going to activate it, but basically you can set it to launch at a certain RPMs, and the guy that owns one, I was talking to him, he said he really likes that launch control. However, he still likes to just use the paddle shifters, mostly. So right now we can, we can set up sport mode, where when you push sport mode, uh, it's, you can kind of adjust different things there. Alright, let's get out of that. So that's what, you know, give you an idea what the Super Track Pack does there when you push that button. Parking sensors, you can turn them off there. You got some climate control buttons down there too. Now this is the shifter. I'm going to go ahead and put it in reverse. And when I do that, it pops up a uh, backup camera there. And also, your parking sensors will be displayed there in the center screen. So that way you can avoid hitting stuff. Now going all the way down like that and drive, um, you can just drive it. I mean, there's no, you don't have to really uh, do anything there. But if you really want to be sporty and you don't want to use the paddle shifters you can put it down here in manual and this is kind of like a ratchet shifter so you can go you can shift it through the gears like so which is pretty cool it gives you another option besides just the paddle shifters and it's kind of like the old um, ratchet shifter from the 70s but uh, you got a little pocket there cup holders are here and uh, this is a center console that lifts up I know it's kind of dark, but it has like a it has like a little pocket in there. The store stuff it's all black, so there's not much to see, except for these areas here, and these are backlit. So that's a good good example of what they look like. There's an auxiliary US auxiliary input, USB input, and an SD card input right here, and also you have a power supply there. Sorry about the lighting; it's just kind of getting dark on me. There's the glove compartment. It's, it's felt lined here and then it has like a shelf system in there. Up here, uh, this is your rear view mirror and it has an assist button and that's for roadside assistance or just pretty much anything to register you connect apps or pretty much anything. 911, if you push that button, even if you don't have a cell phone paired, it will call 911. And there, it will like give you like 10 seconds on the screen to opt out in case you accidentally push it, but it will actually dial 911. This car has its own cell connection. Up here, uh, the tap lights like I have on there. Garage door controls are here. Got a place to put your sunglasses here. I know it's a little dark, but it has like a little felt lining there. Because you got to look cool when you're driving your cool car. The visor has a mirror and lights. Same thing on that side. Now, what's cool about the visors, I like, I wish mine had this, is this little, little thing that slides out that kind of blocks the little space where the sun usually peeks there. Alright, and you see the... I mean, the quality of this vehicle is insane. I mean, it's really high quality. The seats are super comfortable. They kind of bolster around your body. And um, let me see if I can turn this light on. That, well, maybe you can see that. 
very comfortable and warm I got the heated seat on now heated steering wheel man if you if you ever get a chance to get check one of those out if you don't have one in your vehicle if you get one you'll be spoiled you always have to have that in the winter time it's a must this heated steering wheel or the heated seats for that matter all right so let's um, let's take a look underneath the hood and look at that 6.4 liter now this one has a let me check out those pedals too this one has a uh, an 8-speed, Torque Fly 8-speed. Matter of fact, I'll just show you the window sticker. Because there's lots of stuff that I'll probably miss over, go over too too fast. But this has a Torque Fly 8-speed transmission. And everybody says how awesome it is. It shifts faster than you can manually do with like a manual transmission. But um, just to give you an idea of what's going on there on the window sticker, this is the... The, um, the optional equipment here so some of this stuff will be replaced by this anyway let's take a look under the hood the 8 speed transmission the 6.4 liter Hemi SRT engine oh yeah powered by SRT 6.4 and it's like the engine block looks like it's painted in there too I don't know if you can see it's like an orange paint or something this vehicle is insanely powerful um, it is awesome so <laughs> and let's hear the mufflers again hear the exhaust Let's give a little bit of gas. It has a good rumble to it, but it's not like cracking your ears or anything. But anyways, um, there it is, 2015 Dodge Challenger Scat Pack, one of my favorite vehicles of all time love the way the it's like a true muscle car that is that's actually made today it's amazing but anyway if you have any questions or anything um leave it in the comments and i'll be glad to help you as much as i can and if you have anything to add last time i just completely just my ignorance was shining through like a like the uh <laughs> the sun there was a bunch of stuff that i wasn't aware of with the scat pack and a lot of people helped me out with that so hey if i'm uh if I'm getting some stuff wrong or if I'm going over stuff and I'm missing over stuff, please let me know. I'd really appreciate it. Always trying to improve. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.